Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a speed reviews video and let me tell you, I'm going to need to be speedy because I've got so much here to update you on. Some of the products I mentioned actually go like a while back that I've just forgotten to update you on. So look, let's just get straight into it. If you love these speed reviews, kind of quick review style videos, I do have a few, so I will link them down below if you want to go and binge afterwards. But if you're new here, I would love it if you would take a, take a, I'm getting tongue tied already. Oh my God. If you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I do lots of content on drugstore makeup. So if that's what you love, you're in the right place. All right, let's get into it. Let's start out with something that was very disappointing, and it is the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Foundation. Now, for some goddamn unknown reason, they just decided to change up the formula, and it is not good. I was gonna swear then, but I held it together. I did do a full review and comparison video on this foundation, so I will link it down below if you wanna go watch it, but in a nutshell, it does not last as long as the previous formula, and I feel like that's where it's really let me down. The coverage also isn't as full, it doesn't feel as creamy and smooth on the skin, and it's just, it's just really disappointing. And I'm very upset that they've gotten rid of my favorite foundation and replaced it with this. Next, I have another foundation, and this one is by Designer Brands. It's the Skin Renew Ceramide Foundation. And this was actually quite nice. It's a glowy foundation, so you are going to get that nice, dewy look. And although I do love the hydrated, dewy look, I find that those kinds of foundations aren't as long-lasting on me. If you've been here a while, you would know my problem with my sweat mustache. Like, it's just the first place I sweat, and it breaks up my foundation. It's so friggin' annoying. So this foundation didn't last through my sweat mustache, which is very upsetting, but it's okay. I think this one will be better off in the winter months when my skin is a little more dry and I want it to look nice and plump and hydrated and I'm not sweating. If you don't have like a sweat mustache problem though, just ignore all that that I said, like, <laughs> I probably sound crazy. So I have the shade Porcelain Ivory. Let me quickly swatch it for you. This one is super neutral. It's a very nice shade. It's a nice creamy texture. It feels really beautiful on the skin. And I also really love this foundation for mixing. So with a matte foundation that I know is going to last really well on my skin, I put a little bit of this in just to get that nice glowy look. It's a really beautiful foundation and if that's what you're into, I would definitely recommend it. Also with the foundation, they released the Skin Renew Concealer. Now I have the shade Porcelain and unfortunately this just wasn't a winner for me. Let me just swatch it here for you. You can even see in the swatch here that it's quite a light coverage, a thin consistency, and I prefer a medium to full coverage when it comes to my concealers because it just leaves the under eyes looking super flawless and I feel like it really brings my base together. And unfortunately, this just didn't do it for me. I do think it's a nice shade, but yeah, it's just a bit too thin for my liking. And it's been so long as well since I used a concealer with a tiny doe foot. I feel like every concealer these days has a big one. But anyway, the packaging also has this sponge on the end for blending, but like, who uses that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next, I have the Lasting Finish Lip Liners by Rimmel. And I'm not sure if these are new or have been like reformulated or if they've just been in the Rimmel line for so long, I've just never noticed. But oh my God, these lip liners are so good. I've only recently got into using lip liners like properly. When I got my makeup done recently for my girlfriend's birthday, she used a lip liner and like slightly, just slightly overlined my lips. And I was like, dang, they look juicy. So I've been using lip liners ever since. And let me tell you, I am now a fan. So these are just a classic pencil lip liner. I find that they are really creamy, but not too creamy that they bleed. They stay in place, they sharpen really well, and the shades in the range are just freaking beautiful. Let me swatch these for you. So first up we have 90s Nude, Pink Candy, Tiramisu, and Cappuccino. I just think they are such beautiful shades. These are the kind of lip liners that are gonna go with majority of the lipsticks that I wear. I'm just really digging the formula. I'm not really sure 
what to compare them to because I haven't used lip liners a lot, but they work really well, love the shades, it's a winner for me. Next, I want to talk about some skincare, and I've got some stuff here from the brand Pepico. Now, they did send me these products to test out and review in a video. So first up, we have the LED Light Therapy Mask. Now, I was a bit skeptical on these things, but when they reached out to me, I did some research on not just the Pepico brand, but just LED, like at-home masks in general, and they seemed to have pretty good reviews. So I was like, yeah. Let me have a try that. So this is what the mask looks like. It's quite robotic. And on the inside here, you've got your LED lights and you've also got some glasses there to protect your eyes. So there are three different light settings. You've got red, which is for anti-aging, blue, which is for breakout fighting and yellow, which is for detoxifying. Now, unfortunately, this mask was not for me. I did give it a few goes, but I just found it uncomfortable to use. You do have to wear it for 10 minutes on each light setting, so 30 minutes in total. And I found the mask was just a bit too tight. I don't know if I've just got a big head, but it was just uncomfortable to wear. The blue light and the yellow light setting were fine, but the red light, which is the one I wanted to use the most, was so bright, even with the protective glasses in the mask and closing my eyes, the red light still felt way too bright. It just hurt. And the whole experience with the mask I found was just uncomfortable. So unfortunately that didn't work out for me, but they do have the silicon cleansing egg. Now this product I liked a lot better. So this cleansing egg has soft silicon bristles. I really like these bristles here. I find they're quite flexible. The ones on the other side are a bit more stiff, so I do prefer to use this side. Now it is powered and it has different vibration settings. So you turn it on in the middle and you can crank it up or crank it down. I do like to turn the vibrations down a bit and I just feel like it's a really nice relaxing and gentle way to cleanse your skin. I don't think a silicon cleansing brush is something you absolutely need in your skincare routine, but it definitely feels nice, it's very relaxing and it was enjoyable to use. And then lastly, I have some skincare. First up is the Day and Night Gentle Cleanser. This is a gel cleanser, which is my preferred type of cleanser. I feel as though the gel cleanser worked really well with the cleansing egg. They are definitely a good pair. It left my skin feeling nice and clean and not stripped at all, which is something I cannot stand in a cleanser when your face feels really tight and dry afterwards. And then they have the all-in-one sleeping mask, which claims to soothe, balance, hydrate, and protect. I found this to be a nice, rich mask, and it definitely left my skin feeling more hydrated. Next, I have the BYS Lip and Cheek Glow Sticks. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't the biggest fan of these. I did really like this shade here called Peach, which is very confusing. You think this shade would be called Peach? But anyway, they apply to the skin really nicely and leave a beautiful glowy finish, like nice and dewy. It looks really gorgeous, but unfortunately, they just don't last very long. The pigment fades away quite quickly and you're just left with no blush, and I'm not here for that. Now, it does say it's a lip and cheek product. I haven't tried it on the lips. I did just want to use them for the cheeks, but yeah, they just fade away too quickly, so unfortunately, I wouldn't recommend these ones. A product that I will recommend are the Maybelline Lifted Glosses. I have the shade here called 003 Moon, and I also have another shade. I think it's Stone. These glosses are freaking beautiful. First of all, the packaging is like super sleek and very aesthetically pleasing. The shade Moon is a clear gloss. It does look like it has a bit of shimmer when you look close up in the bottle there. So as you can see, it's not super pigmented. It's quite a sheer gloss, but just with a little bit of color. And it is just so freaking beautiful. It's very smooth on the lips, feels really hydrating, and it's not sticky at all. The shade Stone is actually more pigmented. So I think there are a few different formulas throughout the range. So Stone has a lot more pigment to it. And when you apply it, you do need to be more careful because of the color. You can't just like slap it on. <laughs> you have to be careful. But again, a really nice shade. Look, I'll just go get it. I'll go get it. I can't sit here and talk about the shade and blah, blah, blah without showing you. So this is stone and this is what it looks like swatched. 
So when I move my hand, you can still see it's got that beautiful glossy finish, quite reflective, just with a bit more color to it. Another product that I've really been enjoying is the Designer Brands Shimmering Body Oil. Now I've never really been into body oils. I don't know, it's just not a product that I've been like, oh my God, I must shimmer. <laughs> but this did get sent to me in PR and oh my God, it is so nice. And I've actually had a few events lately where a body shimmer is appropriate. The packaging of this is absolutely beautiful. It's in a glass bottle, which just feels super luxe and the gold is very beautiful. As you can see, it's very shimmery in the bottle and the gold, like when I first looked at it, I was like, ooh, I hope it's not too dark for my fair skin, but it is such a beautiful, beautiful formula. I was worried it would be like too oily, but it doesn't feel heavy or greasy at all. It blends into the skin very beautifully. So I've got that all over the back of my hand there. As you can see, it's not glittery. It's just a really nice glow. And it also smells like coconut. It's very nice. I don't have any other oils to compare it to, but it feels really lightweight on the skin and I love the subtle glow that it gives. It just looks really beautiful when the light hits you and you're just oh, glowing. <laughs> I do think this product was limited edition. So if you want it, go get it now, but yeah. If you're into body shimmers, then it's nice. And then lastly, I have some products from Charlotte Tilbury. I know, high-end products, who am I? I did do a video a while ago where I tested a bunch of Charlotte Tilbury products and I just, I just love drugstore, hey. So first up is the Magic Foundation. Now this was described to be full coverage and long lasting and I just got the complete opposite results from that. It was a light coverage, it built up a little bit and it was not long lasting at all. It just, it just wasn't a nice formula for my skin. Like it was all right, but I'm not gonna use it again. I will link the Charlotte Tilbury video down below if you wanna see it in action. And then next I have the Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher. And this is in the shade Love Glow. Now when I tested this in the video, I thought it was nice, but I was like, meh, do you really need to spend $60 on a blush? I did continue to try it out and I actually think it's a very, very beautiful blush. It leaves such a nice sheen to the skin. And I am all about that glowy look and it's just, it's beautiful. It's not like a heavy shimmer or like glitter that really accentuates texture. It's just the perfect amount of sheen to give you a nice glow when your head moves. It's just so beautiful. Do you need to spend $60 on a blush? Still, yeah, probably not. But if you do want to splurge or you just love Charlotte Tilbury, I think this is a really nice option and I'm pretty sure it comes in a bunch of different shades too. So you're definitely going to be able to find something that works for your skin tone. All right, well, that is all for today's speed review video. If you enjoyed watching, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have tried any of these products, I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Do you love the products I hate? Do you hate the products I love? What are your opinions? If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I would love to have you here. You can also come and follow me over on Instagram if you aren't already. I'll have my name on the screen for you now and it linked down below in the description box as well. As I said, if you want more speed, quick review videos, I will link my others down below. That is all from me. I really hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.